if a Martian showed up, all big ears and big nose like a child's drawing, and asked to be baptized, how would you react? You may not be surprised to know that was a question that Pope Francis a couple of years ago raised as a way to encourage more inclusivity and uh, welcome of diversity in the life of the church. But that kind of question is not an unfamiliar one to two Jesuit scientists who work at the Vatican Observatory. Their names are Guy Consul Magno and Paul Mueller, and they both are astronomers and physicists and all of that. And they have written a fascinating book with the title, Would You Baptize an Extraterrestrial? We all remember E.T. from the movies. It's a wonderful book for anyone who struggles with the relationship of religion or faith with science. And let me read you from the introduction a little section here that makes exactly their point. This is a book for people who want to understand whether faith and science can be on friendly terms. He says, do you think we should reject any results of modern science that seem to disagree with the Bible? Do you think that the Bible has greater authority than science and that biblical faith should always get the last word over science? If so, this might not be the book for you, but read on. Do you think we should reject anything in the Bible that seems to be at odds with modern science? Do you think that science has greater authority than the Bible and that science should always get the last word over biblical faith? If so, this might not be the book for you, but read on. Do you think that both science and faith should be taken seriously, but you struggle with how to hold science and faith together with integrity? Do you find yourself tending to keep science and faith isolated from each other in separate watertight compartments, but wish that science and faith didn't have to take turns in your life? Then this book is for you. Read on. Indeed, do.